Aslam Legum, we're here today to discuss bullying and the role schools play in that. Uh, my name is Miswa and I've been a school administrator now for 15 years and I'm going to give you my views on it. There are talks now that schools should develop the social emotional learning of students and while I love the idea, I don't know how practical it is in a country like Pakistan because um, here we're rushing and under pressure to achieve grades and from very early on in the early years all the way to uh, A-levels until the child readies himself for university, um, pressures, pressure is on parents and the school that the child attains A's and most parents rush their kids from school after an eight hour school they want them to go to tuition centers as well so within you know when a child's absorbing all the contents of his textbooks when is that child expected to learn how to interact with other beings unfortunately and again I'm, I have to say I don't profess to be an expert in this but this is my experience and these are my views I feel where our universities accept nothing less than A stars and A's which puts a lot of pressure on parents so whether the parents have finances or not they insist on sending them to uh, school for X number of hours and then after a few hours break they go to uh, tuition centers in this period they don't get time to uh, interact with students we don't get time to uh, develop their abilities to regulate emotions their uh, conflict management resolution, a lot of things that are covered in SEL learning. Social emotional learning at schools is a lovely idea and I'm all for it, but we have the added pressure of um, achieving A's and A stars. If schools don't achieve those grades, um, they presumably won't get university admissions. In fact, they won't get university admissions in some of our big universities in Pakistan. That means our focus has to be on achieving grades. So when our focus is on achieving grades, and like I've said earlier, um, parents insist on sending their children to tuition centers, that doesn't give us a lot of room to play or focus on student learning, um, emotional well-being. The fact that I've mentioned that parents insist on students having tutors at home, tuitions at home, and their day is predominantly um, learning concepts, revising and reinforcing concepts. There's not a lot of time left for social interaction. Now, there could be, in my opinion, many reasons for that. Uh, first, we move away from a joint family system and we're now single units. Uh, we've moved away from single incomes to double incomes. Our students and uh, or our children and parents are engrossed with their social media and their gadgets. So in all this, there is that lack of social interaction at home. Um, my personal opinion is if children get time with adults, um, I, you know, in the old setup, grandmas, uh, joint family people would take the onus of looking after children, grooming them where the parents were occupied, teaching them cultural, religious values. That's all removed from the equation now. So you're left with this child who has nothing to do in a day but to memorize his books. Um, and we know for a fact, especially boys, that they need to exert energy. They need to be outside in the fields. They need to be outdoors. They need to learn. They need to fall. They need to experience life um, to consume that energy. Um, that's partially, I think, that pent up energy that causes bullying and aggressiveness at, um, at schools. And again, yes, if our students are not getting that kind of grooming or learning at home they do come to school with emotional baggage and that emotional baggage they don't know how to handle because they haven't spent ample time watching adults handle situations um, you know kids learn from us how we react to mistakes how we react to something uh, a different opinion kids are watching us and learning and if they're not getting that social interaction naturally they don't know how to handle themselves in these conflict situations. 
in a nutshell, I think I'm saying can we should not to say times were ideal when we were children, but we do need to get back to spending time with our children. I think that is lacking in our society and it's reflecting in the increased number of bullying cases. We know one in four students are being bullied currently and now with cyberbullying adding to the equation, it can be quite tormenting for the child.